Hello, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury. Welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies. It's good to have you back, and it feels great to be back. Aries is sitting in Mercury, so communication is really strong, bossing up, meaning what you say, putting order behind it, big baby. You know what I'm saying? Big boss moves, big boss conversations. Um, you could be coming into leadership roles here as well and needing to spark up or become more aggressive with this communication here as well. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, individuals with Sagittarius in their Mercury while Aries is sitting in Mercury. I've already pulled out your spread to die down some time so we can get back to what we all need to get back to, whatever is important to you here, Sagittarius. And if you would be so kindly to please like, comment, or subscribe to my channel, I will be so appreciated of it, appreciative of it. Um, and we're going to head straight into prayer. I'd like to take this time to thank God for our high vibrating spirits, guardians, and angels. Thank God for insight and awareness, for love, peace, and balance, for light. For groundedness, we like to ask for protection, for insight, for truth, for clarity, for protection. In Jesus' name, love and light. Amen. Namaste. Alrighty, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and individuals with Sagittarius and your Mercury. As I was pulling out your spread, what I see here, you, you are very faithful. Some of you are holding back or holding on to something that you do have faith in here. I did feel a lot of pain and a lot of stress here. My hand was hurting as I was shuffling your cards and laying them out here as well. Then I had a pain in my side here. So a lot, of, I feel like a lot of you need to either get out and get some air or start stretching here but there's like holding back but there's no work behind this faith all right and this could be someone that's around you or this could be you here Sagittarius um, Sun Moon and Rising and individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury but someone is healing from betrayal someone could feel let down here or just feel lost here as well someone could feel could feel really different here as well mm. they could be trying to be positive or go towards the light but the end of a difficult situation embrace the change and accept things to get better now recovering from a, an, an addiction Ooh, that feels so heavy this could be someone that's around you Sagittarius Sun Moon and Rising or um, individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury this could be someone that's around you or this could be you but someone is healing from a loss Healing from pain, healing from some communication that could have come in here as well. Someone is trying to stay positive, trying to stay on the, trying to look at the brighter side of things here as well. Moving forward, the overall energy around you, because that's really, really heavy energy. But the overall energy around you, Sagittarius, someone arising, and individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury, while Aries is sitting in Mercury, is the magician. There's creativity around you. There's magic. You could also have a wizard around you, someone very, very wise, very, very connected and grounded. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. You could also have a Gemini or a Virgo around you, but it's all about communication here as well. Someone could be speaking things into existence here, casting spells. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, there's magic here. But there's love here as well. Somebody could also be sending you love here as well. Healing the situation here as well. Someone who is very in tune, could hold like father-like energy or could just come up as a strong leader here as well. They Somebody is coming out and speaking the truth. Someone is healing and getting through things and also coming up to a better understanding of a situation or how someone operates. Someone is starting to believe in magic. This is the overall energy here. The mental conflict is life experience. The mental conflict could be a Scorpio. It could also be an Aries here. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. The mental conflict could also be just God stepping in, the universe coming in and changing things here as well. Seasons change, things changing. The mental conflict could also be your gardens here as well. The past coming back, emotions coming back here. The mental conflict could be um, understanding 
what truly happened, what's going on, that's what's going on around you here as well. The things that you're eating, the fear that you have to put behind you. The mental conflict here, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising is Sun, Moon, and Rising, and um, individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury is taking a leap of faith. Is change. The mental conflict could also be someone going back into a situation, making a decision to backtrack or leave the past here as well. Somebody who could have been really stubborn, always wanting control here as well. The mental conflict could also be changing this about self. Your, your viewpoint, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury could just be changing about this connection. You could also be wanting to make different connection or cut people off. There's some confusion around what do you do with this Aries? What do you do with, what, what kind of decisions are you going to make here as well? What's going to happen if someone does pass? What's going to happen if someone comes back here? It's just a lot of worry. And also with this faith with God, is worry about God stepping in, the universe stepping in, things going according to plan here. Yes. Things going according to plan here. Who to give an offer to? How? What's this finance is going to be like? Someone could have a, a difficult time speaking here as well. Really emotional, but it, the emotions could be really could be hidden. Someone could feel like running here. The mental conflict is just getting up and getting out of there or leaving things being over here, losing an opportunity, taking a leap of faith into things here as well. Going for the gold, being open and inspiring here as well, giving someone an opportunity. What's on the heart space here, Sagittarius, someone arising the individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury. While Aries is sitting in Mercury, it's a two of Earth. Too much going on at once, the need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. You feel like somebody is really indecisive, someone can't make up their mind, someone could be really immature or young-minded here. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and individuals with Sagittarius and your Mercury. You could also um, be trying to make it. You feel like making a decision on who to give this offer to. If someone, if there is growth in a situation here as well, you want to feel positive about a situation. You could also be really indecisive about how to feel about a situation. A female, maybe a younger female, or just this female in particular. Because there's an opportunity and you want to make the right decision, the right choice. You could also be going into prayer and meditation. If not, I recommend it. Or going out into nature. You could also feel like eating differently here as well. Some of you could also feel like being released. I do see prayer. Yeah, things are changing. You feel like going into something different or changing your luck or approaching a, a situation differently here as well. You can also feel like your fortune is changing or you are, you want to make the decision to help change someone else's fortune or your fortune. You could also want to help, trying to make the decision to help someone heal or give sound mind, body, and soul advice here as well. Someone could feel differently about a situation or a person, a mother, a child. Someone could finally be understanding what's going on. This could also be you here, Sagittarius, or uh, if this could be a Pisces or a Libra here. Sagittarius, someone arising the individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury. Somebody could finally be wanting to take that leap of faith and go after this fortune and this fame here. They want to heal, get past this heartbreak here as well. They also could want to bring something to a stop or they could possibly want to read palms here. They could also speak to the dead or deal with voodoo here as well. But things are changing here. You need to be careful of the people. Somebody is making the decision to who to trust. This fortune change here as well. All right. What you need to be aware of. I'm, I'm sorry to be so. 
Okay. But what you need to be aware of, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and individuals with Sagittarius and their Mercury is that you, you had two cups. And it actually, the Beware section came out to be so beautiful. So what I will say first is everything that glitter is in gold. And be, trust your intuition here, especially if you are an empath, feel the situation out. But what Spirit is saying, what to be aware of is the Ace of Water falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. Be aware of true love coming in. Be aware of things working out. Be aware of expressing yourself to the people you are expressing yourself to. Be aware of this relationship, this new relationship. There's an opportunity here. The next card was the Ten of Water and rewarding fa family life. Your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships. Like, oh my goodness, be aware of this happiness. Be aware of this new opportunity. This is crazy. Be aware of fantasizing about this here as well and not putting action behind it. But be aware of your children. Be aware of this new relationship. Be aware of this Pisces. Be aware of this relationship, this new relationship coming in. All these, this new relationship bringing in a lot of emotions. This relationship could bring in children here as well and people. Yes, family. Be aware of expressing yourself to family. Be aware of family coming in and expressing themselves as well. Be aware of new relationships forming with family here as well. Mending situations here as well. Be aware of a family member being picked on or mocked. Yes. Some information could be coming in or... Be aware of someone's spouse not liking the children or someone being jealous of this relationship. Someone being jealous of the relationship, someone having a lot to say here. Be aware of rushing into a relationship here as well. Not communicating, not finding out both ends of things, the good, the bad here as well. Just rushing into a situation. Be aware of that. Be aware of falling in love too fast. Be aware of a separation, a relationship bringing in a separation, a separation, separation. Be aware of working with family. Be aware of family investments. There could most definitely be a separation or some results coming back in. Yeah, it could be some family investments, a new job here, falling in love with your job. Somebody coming back and offering you something. There could be a new relationship tied to a new job. There's finances, there emo there's emotions. Be aware of this Pisces, this Scorpio, this Leo. I mean, well, the Sagittarius, this Gemini. Be aware of document documents coming in. Be aware, uh, some of you could be experiencing, uh, could be missing um, your children, could have just had babies, could be going through some post-depression here, headaches. Some of you could be going back to God and praying. I got to move forward. Be aware that people are watching. Some people could be waiting. Some people could be watching you suffer and laughing at it. Somebody, some, someone could also be 
people. There could be people aware of what's of your sadness or these people's there's there what I see here people are mocking like the poor the homeless oh my goodness that's terrible yeah well God is coming in justice will be served I don't know this could also be a relationship here as well you have to take it as it resonates there's a lot going on here a lot to be aware of but be aware of this relationship coming back around be be aware of how you feel about situations here as well be aware of falling in love with your job here as well be aware of everything that glitters is not gold love be aware of this scorpio this sagittarius this pisces this libra this gemini be aware of these relationships this twin flame situation here as well be aware of god be aware of mocking people and laughing at people's situations lying false promises here as well be aware of not balancing out work and love all right let's move forward the most likely outcome for you sagittarius sun moon and rising while aries is in mercury it's the four of air time to take a time to rest or take a vacation Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. There's a time out here for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You're most definitely taking taking some time to rest or you're just falling asleep anywhere. All right. Some of you could feel lied to and just trying to get things together. You could also be trying to think your way out of these situations here as well. How to sneak out here as well. Some of you are trying to see, uh, just taking time to figure out what's going on in your life here. I do see some Sagittarius, some on the horizon. You're, you're in the hospital here as well. Family and friends could be around. Some communication could be cut off for right now. You're not accepting phone calls. There's no connection here. You don't want to connect here, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. There could also be a delay in mail. Someone could also be waiting for mail, waiting for an approval, waiting for something to be over, waiting to hear something back, waiting to collect or pay bills. Okay. Some of you are waiting for the results to come in. And this could be causing mental conflict here as well. You could also be trying to stay away from conflict, competition. You don't really want it. You don't want to argue here as well. You could you're trying to take time out for yourself to clear your thoughts. Or you want to stay away from these people here. Somebody could what? Fighting. You could be having terrible thoughts or you could feel like somebody is after you. You're trying to cut off your enemies, cut off people who that don't make you feel good here as well. You don't feel like going anywhere. You, you put everything on hold. you blocking out everybody. Yes, that, that is what I felt. That's the energy I did feel. I did feel like somebody was spying on somebody as well. You're trying to block anybody who's trying to get in, who's trying to do anything. It's like, no, I don't want to talk. I don't want to fight. I don't want to compete. I don't want to do anything. I ain't making no moves. There's no moves here. The bottom of the deck was the queen of water here. But this queen of cups, you are loving. You could be dealing with the mother of your child here, the mother of your child, or just you being a mother, or a very loving woman here, a very emotional woman, but she, she she doesn't express herself too much. But you know she gives off love. You know when she does love here as well, there's beautiful com communication, but it's just not coming forth. There's mental conflict and competition about how to open up and how to tell the truth here, about how to express yourself. Sagittarius sun moon and rising. Somebody is holding back how they feel. Somebody could be having terrible, could feel terrible. You could also be aware of these people that surround you. People at work, neighbors, be aware.
I see you ready though. You could also be hallucinating, so take this time to get yourself together. I see you protecting yourself for sure, yeah. Because you feeling like people could strike at you here as well. You trying to make sure you sh you you straight. I see you strapped. I see you ready for whatever. These There could be people coming for you or th this is what you're thinking. But you're trying to put this to a stop. You, you don't want to fight. You want to stay positive. But you ready for whatever. You ready for this competition. You do feel like people coming for you. Yes, thunderstorm. You do feel like somebody could be coming for you. Somebody watching you here. Okay. Yes, like I said, you ready. You are protected divinely and you strapped. I'm trying to tell you. Hungry yellow flowers that don't only eat flies. They're hungry for you and might make you cry. Yeah. You can feel attacked. You can feel like people could be trying to come for you. This is mental though. I mean, some people could be saying this, that, and, you know, got this, that, and the third to say, but you still, you ready for whatever. You're trying to stay positive, but you could be a hot ball too. You could be ready for whatever. You're trying to put that down. There could be some meditation here as well and trying to put some action behind this prayer here as well. Dear God, how are you to study this experience? But there needs to be some teamwork. You need to be open to communication and different people. If you feel safe, trust your intuition on it. But get rid of this mental conflict here as well. But if you know these people don't mean you good, no good, I wouldn't go around them anymore. I wouldn't chill. I wouldn't vibe. Cut them off. It ain't nothing to cut that off. There could also be some mental conflict about how someone is going to travel, get around, how you're going to communicate to this person here as well. The bottom of the deck here is, I intend to see the best in everyone. What another numerology number three? Yes. It's opening up your mind, opening up your, your mental, opening up your heart, investing. Everything is always working out for me. Your angels and your spirit cards got you. 55, your investments could be changing. Nothing ever goes wrong because every piece of contrast, no matter how wrong it seems to be, is always helping you to clarify what it is you do want. And that is the thing that we want you to remember most of all. The contrast, no matter how it looks at any moment, is contributing mightily to your expansion. The things that you call things going wrong in your life experience are actually only the distance between the things that are so right and your current perspective about them. Sagittarius, sun, morning, rising. I see you love and light always. Have a beautiful day or night. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more insight. I would be honored to help. Alrighty, individuals with Sagittarius in their Mercury, while Aries is sitting in Mercury, the most likely outcome for you here is the four of fire. You most definitely could be dealing with stability, a twin flame situation here, but we have contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, a successful completion of a project. You are most definitely trying to ground yourself. You could also be having a bonfire or having a um, fire at your home, or there could be a spiritual maybe rituals, something that you're doing at your home, maybe there's some casting spells, spell work here, oh my goodness. But um, there's also just positivity, you could also be opening up the windows, inviting in your ancestors here, lighting candles here as well, um, accepting who you are, coming into union, all right. You could also be um, very attracted to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius wanting to build or be or show someone something yes okay so in the home with the, with the with the work you're trying the the spell work if there's spell work and there's candles whatever you're doing in this home you're trying to feel better you're, the stability comes from grounding yourself okay coming out of this depression here you could have been there could have been hidden depression yeah making the decision to come out of this depression depression making the decision to do something about these relationships because you could feel like all over the place or just all out of whack. 
somebody just said to me the other day out of out of your circle out of your square here yeah right you could be depressed about losing this stability you losing this union here you could feel out of control you could be dealing with the pisces you could feel like you can't you can't invest you can't ground you can't take action you don't know what to do with the situation here you don't know how to let go of these emotions or either let go of what you were building this stability or even just get yourself in control like if you were going to therapy here it's hard to open up and express yourself about what was truly going on or how you truly feel about a situation yeah you there, there's with the five of swords yeah, there's someone fighting back how they feel, like telling the truth, opening up, like this is what truly happened in the home. This is how I truly feel. Someone is not open up to not open to change. Someone could be fearing leaving stability or, or leaving their comfort zone here. There's yeah, there's nervousness, anxiety, fear, abandonment. Like, I don't know what to do. And then we have the renewal at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's that Scorpio energy. Someone is afraid of judgment, of second chances, of new contracts, or stepping out of this comfort zone, doing something different, of change. It causes them depression when they think about leaving, and it makes them fight against it. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's most definitely afraid of rolling a dice, of taking a chance here. Yeah, they don't they don't know. They don't like to take too many chances. They don't like to be too risky here as well. Somebody doesn't like to play around here as well, or someone could play around too much here as well. The numerology here is five, all about change. Okay, and so with five coming in here, because we do have five, five, and then we have another five here, the, your, your finances is changing for the better. It's being spiritually guided. This is not just an alone trip because I, I was going to say you're building on your own intuition. You're bringing in this change on your own intuition. Manifestation is definitely in your hands. But I wasn't propelled to, you know, to bring that out until now. Your finances, this change is coming in because the universe is bringing this in, okay? Have faith in this situation. No matter the crumble, no, no matter the mistakes that's going on, everything is in divine order. But when it comes to stability and getting yourself together, your finances and taking action and grounding yourself, that's on your part right now. So get yourself together and work on you and the universe has everything else in control. But yes, yeah, someone someone could be passing or someone could be dealing with this transformation, this, this change. And it feels like rolling a dice here, but things are in order, like I just said. One, two, three. You're almost there with much at stake, but now the ground begins to shake. Have faith. That's my best advice. I am giving prayer at the end of this video if you would like to stay for that. You can also join us on testimonies in the description box. Okay, two cards. Bottom of the deck, I can attract relationships that agree with my desires with that numerology three. You are protected for sure, for sure. Stop criticizing yourself and be open to change. Trust your intuition with the number 11 here. You are very intuitive or there's someone that can help guide you that's intuitive around you. I'll envision the behavior I desire to inspire. And then we have 22, a master number. You can be the leader. You can take charge. Believe in yourself. Start to go into prayer. Ask for help and assistance. Beneficial beliefs feel better when I thank them. Reading the back of these cards would be taking your time up. That's how I feel, Sagittarius. Some moon, I mean, individuals with Sagittarius and Mercury. I don't feel like you're even taking the time to read your documents and you need to. But get this rest and be open to change all right i'm giving prayer i see you love and light always please like comment and subscribe to the channel for more insight all righty prayer dear god how about any angels guardians and spirits what's the prayer for sagittarius number one individuals with sagittarius and mercury 
how Aries is doing in this week. There are some risk takers here. Don't run out of time. Yes, there's clarity coming in, truth. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. There's clarity and truth coming in. Be open to it. Be open to speaking the truth. Be open to accepting the truth. Yes, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Learn those lessons. Take them for what they are. But remember to have a beautiful day or night.